Hi, I'm here with Sarah Pike, owner of Topsail Farm. I've just attended one of their amazing raclette dinners mm -hmm. here on the farm in Walterboro. So Sarah, tell me about this place. Well, we, this is our sixth season. Um, it's been going by so quickly. And we started um, offering the raclette dinners um, pretty much right when we started as a way to bring the community together. They originally were down at our yurt, which is down on the Madamic River and involves a 10 minute hike down the snowy path. But obviously in these times, um, we've adjusted things a bit and we're using them, uh, we're doing them in our, our event barn here in Walderboro. Um, so it's really a celebration of winter and being outdoors in all seasons. Um, and we're so lucky to be near Morris's sauerkraut um, where we get our raclette and cart charcuterie from. Uh, Chef Ken Burkett um, cooks up um, all of the condiments that we do here. So our beet jams and the fermented garlic honey that you enjoyed. So it's really a lovely time during our off season to bring the community together and um, celebrate winter and, and all of that. And you're doing it in such a way that the tables are well spaced. Mm -hmm. So for anybody who has concerns, yep. and people must be masked when until they're seated at their Correct. table. Yep, our capacity is 175 people in this barn, and we average about 35 to 40 each meal. So we uh -huh. feel good about the outdoor component that we've always had with all of our events, um, and uh, then bringing people inside um, spaced out. And about that outdoor, we started with Glen Point oysters yes. first. And always, <laughs> must have oysters in the winter. That, yeah, they're yeah. fabulous. Yeah. So what else happens here? So typically during our season, um, our full season begins in May and ends in October. Um, that's where we have all of our glamping um, in our woodland cabins. We have 11 woodland cabins um, and our calendar each year has open camp weekends. We call them topsail overnights where people can come and camp, enjoy delicious food, um, chefed up by Chef Ken, um, and really just explore this amazing area that we live in. Um, the other weekends we do host private events and weddings. Um, and so our calendar is kind of split between um, sort of larger private events and our um, overnight weekends. And then um, people will rent out the whole property for um, yoga retreats or family reunions, that sort of thing. So it's there's a lot of um, uh, diversity in what we offer. And so certainly over the past couple of years, that's really helped us be able to, to fluctuate with, with the changing environment. We also, I guess we'll add, um, we do culinary events, just ticketed events for people who are not staying here. So we have four of them that change with the seasons. You've enjoyed Raclette today. Um, in the spring, we celebrate mud season here in Maine with our Sugar Shack Supper. Um, that's a celebration of Maine maple. Um, in the summer, we do our river dinner, which is our property is on the Madamic River. Um, not a lot of people know that it's the highest yielding um, body of water here in the state for clams. Um, and so we really want to celebrate the vibrant fishing community here. Um, and then in the fall, we do a wild game dinner, which is really amazing. And then we swing back and before we know it, it's winter again. That's pretty awesome. So you've got a few more of these raclette suppers coming out? Yeah, we think we will do them through the end of February and should, um, we might open up for our last weekend on uh, March 5th. But yep, we have a full um, calendar of Saturdays, lunch and dinner for, for the raclette. And then we'll switch things around and go right into Sugar Shack. And Sugar Shack, now I've been to some Sugar Shacks in Quebec. Yep. And basically they're ham and baked beans. Of course. And pancakes yeah. or ploys yeah. or whatever and you just douse everything in maple syrup yeah, and yeah. is that kind of what you do here nothing's bad about that um i was lucky enough to go to um chef martin picard's uh, sugar shack and um, right outside of montreal several years ago and it was super high end and super gluttonous and um, you know really just celebrating the maple syrup as an ingredient and I've also been to several of them that were it's like you know a whole hall of about 400 people and exactly what you said I would say ours is firmly right in the middle um, we really kind of try to the food is very humble um, again really focused on Maine maple but um, chef Ken does a lovely job several courses and um, no one leaves feeling hungry that's for sure Wonderful. So, Topsail Farm may not be the easiest one to spell or figure out what the website is for, so tell us what the website is. Yeah, top, it's uh, www.topslfarm.com. Um, Topsail is the name that we um, inherited from the previous family who owned it for four generations. They were sailors, so it's a sailing term. Yes. Um, and uh, we love it. Yeah, it's great. Great. Thank you. You're welcome.